Hey kids, Don Highfield here. I, I just wanted to talk for about four minutes, it looks like, about how to carve a, a large owl out of a cedar log. So basically what we start off doing with the chainsaw here is just getting all the wood off that you don't need to carve an owl. So you're just uh, roughing out the shape and getting all the wood off that you don't need before you even start your carving so you start off with just a basic good picture of uh, what you want to carve um, you can use reference uh, pictures from field guides uh, carving magazines photographs you or your friends have taken uh, pictures of birds on the internet um, and uh, just uh, sketch it up and get a front and side view and you can see from that front and side view what you do have to cut off to start carving and that's that's basically all I do with the chainsaw is make the basic shape so we're delineating where the wings are the uh, since this is a great horned owl the uh, as much detail as we can get on the head and the body of the owl with this with this uh, fairly blunt instrument then we start smoothing that up with a side grinder and uh, look for any imperfections in the shape get everything smoothed up so that it will accept our detail later on so we're taking a side grinder with a, a structured tooth burr on it and uh, this is a four inch side grinder and just smoothing everything up and shaping everything down and getting as, as much uh, detail there you go around the feet and the head and the wings and everything as, as we can with a four inch wheel get nice and smooth because then we're going to draw all the feathers on there and then cut those down into the wood so that they overlap kind of like fish scales and the deeper you do that the really cooler it's going to look once you get that done you start taking your hand chisels and just using a mallet and uh, some chisels and gouges and just really carving the detail down into it with those which gives you a, a much crisper look to your feathers and your your eyes your beak and your feet um, and it cuts cuts the wood more cleanly and leaves a, a, a nice shiny surface and uh, there you go so you got your shape all down you got your uh, your detail all sketched on there and you're really just hammering away with the, the chisels and everything the detail is in the face and the feet and feathering on the body you can add as much or as little as you like it's basically about the shape of the bird so we're getting all that down and sometimes it's easier if you just throw them over on the ground like that there you go and I put some Australian timber oil on there to preserve the wood and the color because the uh, color on the cedar will eventually fade if you don't it deepens it a little bit. It looks pretty nice. I think it's better than polyurethane or something. Okay, that's a pretty much basic carving a bird out of a log. Thanks for joining us.